This video is by Straight Goods News. SG News. Well, we, we know that, uh, that they knew uh, all along and before the last election uh, that uh, all the troubles uh, that, that were plaguing that program. Uh, but I think we knew that anyway. So You've been saying that for to, some time. I hate to be so circular, but uh, yeah, we, we knew that and we know now that that, uh, that they knew that. Although the, uh, the Auditor General was fairly clear too that at least the Cabinet was well aware of the cost uh, of the F-35 uh, prior to the last election. Now Rona Ambrose is talking about pushing the reset button. What does she mean by that? What, do you know, can you fathom what she means by that? Well, it's a bit unclear what they mean because they're not talking about the process that they call this options analysis uh, you know she says we've set the uh, statement of requirements aside we know from uh, Minister Fantino's response to a question on the answer paper that there were six mandatory requirements that only the F-35 could fill um, and so that has now been set aside according to her of course the CDS was at uh, Defense Committee telling us that in fact one of those mandatory requirements was only a preference. So I don't think it's at all clear um, what reset means, um, whether this is uh, a stage uh, to come back to the F-35 having pretended that it was a genuine effort to uh, re-look at, at uh, their decision or whether they are genuinely and frankly quite rationally thinking about doing something else. Well, what do you make about this idea of putting aside the statement of requirements? I mean, I can understand people have criticized the SOR as being a great kind of document, right? Yeah. But wouldn't the solution then be to send the thing back to DND and say, look, do one properly and we'll get the National Research Council to have a look at it like they did with Fixed Wing SAR instead of yeah. setting it aside. If you set it aside, you're kind of in this yeah. perspective where who's making the decision for what reason? No, they, they've set aside a secret statement of uh, requirements for just plain secrecy is what they've done. So they've got a secret options analysis process happening somewhere in the government, presumably it's in the uh, uh, National Defense uh, Department, but who really knows and who knows who's involved. Uh, all we know is that we got three deputy ministers, um, the, the auditor and the economist uh, somehow involved and uh, rethinking uh, the issue of uh, due diligence on behalf of the uh, Defense Department, which is hardly a comforting thought, frankly. So what, what happens if at the end of this, and those bureaucrats do their very best work, honestly and in a forthright manner, they select the F-35 as the way ahead? Well, I think, I think if they do it in the very best manner, it is uh, by way of an open, fair, transparent competition. And that's a competition that's based on sound defense policy that sets out very clearly uh, what this government thinks they need uh, these planes to do. And if that's uh, what happens after a clear uh, policy statement, after uh, a properly done statement of requirements, and after an open and fair competition, then, then so be it. But none of those things are happening. None right of those now. things are happening right now, and, and it doesn't look like this government is uh, at all prepared to do any of them. And hence we come back to uh, Minister Ambrose saying, we're not redoing our statement of requirements, we're just setting it aside. So the whole thing is a sham in your perspective. No, absolutely. Absolutely it's a sham. Because I, I, I don't know how one properly uh, chooses uh, the next fighter jet for Canada without a clear statement of requirements based on sound defense policy.